Hello everybody and welcome to this week's coding class. So on March 20th, which was earlier this week, uh, spring has officially arrived. So weather will be getting better. It's not going to be so cold. It's going to be daylight for longer. And I thought that we should do a coding class about it. So let me show you guys what I did and what you are going to do. So here we go should pop up there and when i press the green flag it's so cold in winter i can't wait for spring to arrive it's so cold in winter the and you can't wait for spring to arrive the snow is melting the snow is melting because the sun is there the and then spring, spring arrives spring kind of talking on top of him so spring is here and you see flowers growing you're in a spring background so from winter to spring what do you guys think excited i really hope so uh before we start, every week there's going to be a, a new coding class on this channel, so feel free to subscribe somewhere down there. Press the subscribe button so that you guys can do one every week with your mom, dad, brother, sister, friend, whoever it is that you're doing it with, okay? And with that, let's start. So grab your iPad, grab your tablet, grab your computer, and boot up Scratch Junior. And what we're going to do is start a new project. So up here on the left, press press on that plus sign as uh, so you start a new project. We normally always take out Scratch Jr., but we today we're actually going to use him. So we just drag him to the bottom and to the left. Okay, so put your finger on him and drag him down and to the left. Okay, what we're going to do is create the sun. So we're going to press on the plus sign under Scratch Jr. here on the left, and we're actually going to draw it. So go to the paintbrush, Go to the left and to the circle, and we're going to make an orange sun. So press on that orange color here on the bottom and draw a circle more or less in the middle of the screen, more or less like that. Okay. Just put your finger there and drag it all the way down to there. When you've done that, press on the bucket and tap in the middle of your circle. So it should be now filled with orange. If by any chance I go too fast, just press on the pause of the YouTube video uh, and you can catch up and then press play again, okay? Go up to the left and press on that squiggly line, the one that looks like a snake. And now we're gonna make sun rays. So just like do these lines around your sun so that it looks even more like a sun because it has sun rays around it, okay? Do as many as you want or as little as you want. We're going to go up here and press on the tick box. So we should have Scratch Jr. and the sun. But I did forget what, let's drag the sun up there to the top and to the right. But we did forget the background. So let's up here next to ABC, this one that has the blue and the green, let's press on that one. And with our finger, let's scroll down to the bottom and find the winter background. So it should be under the basketball fields and above kind of like this beach. So the one with all the snow here, it's called winter. When you do tap on it and press the tick box. Okay, so you should have a sun and Scratch Jr. and a lots and lots of snow. So now that we have that, let's do our next scenery. So we're going to go here to the right and under the winter, like this rectangle, press on that plus sign. And again, we're going to keep Scratch Jr. So put them down and to the right. We're going to go and get a spring background. So up here, the same box that has the, the rectangle that has the blue and the green, press on that one, scroll down and like above the winter and all the way to the right. So under the classroom, above the night and everything you have, Ooh, this is actually called summer. Where's spring? Spring is next to winter. So there we go. So next to the winter one that you just got, you have this one here, which is called spring. So it has, you see the flowers and, and everything coming to blossom. So let's get that one and tap on the tick box. So you should have a wonderful black background, a wonderful spring background. Let's get the sun because we still have the sun. So press on the plus sign, press on the sun you just made, press on the tick box, drag that sun to the top and to the right, exactly where he was in the winter scenery, more or less. And now we're going to get some flowers. So go here to the left, press on that plus sign, scroll down to the add object, and we're going to find where we have trees and some flowers. And choose any flowers of these that you want. I'm going to start with this one, so daffodils. So it's the one that has like these green stems and then the yellow flowers. Press on tick, 
put it anywhere you want in the screen. So I'm gonna leave mine there. We're going to add another flower. So go here to the plus sign under the daffodil. So add another object. Scroll down again, all the way to the trees and to the flowers. Let's see where they are, here. We're going to, I'm going to choose maybe this, another yellow, no, we're gonna choose this one, the tulip, so the pink one, okay? So press a tick box and we're going to put this one here, more or less. So just put your finger on and drag it anywhere and we're going to get our last, last flower. Press on the plus side under the tulip. We're gonna scroll down yet again and I have a yellow, I have a pink, I'm gonna get this purple one. So here, the daisy. I'm gonna press on the tick box and I'm gonna put my daisy more or less here, okay? So you should have Scratch Junior, the sun, and three flowers on your screen. And when you do, we're ready to start coding. So let's start with the winter scene. Go up here, press on the, the scene, the one, the scene with the winter, so you can see it here. And we're going to start by coding Scratch Junior. So press on the cat, make sure you see him here. Go to the yellow blocks and drag down the start on green. So when we start the program, he's going to be walking to the right. So go to the movement blocks and drag down the move right block. Go to the red blocks and drag down the one with the arrows, okay? So basically the program starts, he moves to the right, and then he repeats over and over again. So he's gonna be repeating forever and ever and ever. We're gonna do another line of code where he tells the sun to appear. So go to the start on green, drag that one down, and we're going to record a message. So go to the green blocks, press on that microphone, and record. Ooh, it's winter and it's super cold. I can't wait for the sun to warm up the earth so that spring comes in and press the tick box. Drag down that microphone. I'll give you guys a second to record it because I'm going super fast. Drag down that microphone next to the start on green that you just put in. And we're going to send the message to the sun to say appear. So go to the yellow blocks, the send message. So it's the one that has the closed envelope, okay? When you've got that, we're going to go to the red blocks and drag down the one without the arrows, okay? So you should have two lines of code. One line of code tells Scratch Junior to keep walking, and the other line of code says the, 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 what you recorded, and then it sends a message to the sun, which is gonna tell the sun, okay, now you can appear, okay? So now let's start coding the sun. So let's go to our character, the sun, so press here on the left. We're going to press on yellow, so start on message. So that's the open envelope one. You see, the one that receives the message, the orange message that you just sent over. We're gonna tell him to appear. So go to the purple blocks and drag down the show block, the appear block. That's the one that has the white person, the one that's colored in. Given he's already there, we're actually gonna get him to hide. Drag down the hide block somewhere here and just tap on it, okay? So that the sun hides. Now press on the microphone the record button and say, the sun is here and it's gonna get warmer. Press on the tick box and drag down that microphone, okay? So now that the sun has appeared, we can go to spring. So let's go to the red blocks and drag down that last one, the one that has a two and shows the spring scenery inside of it. So receive message, appear sun, say that he's here and then go to spring, cool? Awesome. So now let's code the spring, the spring. Let's call the spring scenery. Press on the spring scenery here on the right, so the, and that you see it here. And let's start by coding Scratch Junior, okay? So let's select Scratch Junior. So go here on the left up to the cat. So put your finger here in between the objects and this gray line and scroll up and down. So go to the cat, press the yellow block, drag down the start on green, and we're gonna have him moving still. So movement blocks and move to the right and repeat. So when this starts, the scene starts, he's gonna keep walking. We're going to go to the red blocks, 
and the one with the arrows. So just keep repeating this. Just keep walking, okay? We're also going to have him do a little dance because it's spring and he's happy. So we're going to go to the yellow blocks, drag down the start on green as well. We're going to drag down the blue blocks and we're going to drag down rotate right, rotate left, rotate left again, and rotate right. Okay, so rotate right, rotate left, rotate left, rotate right. We're going to go to the red blocks and have him repeat that forever and ever and ever. So he's just gonna keep doing this nonstop. Okay? And now we're going to have him record a message and tell the flowers to appear. So we're going to go to the yellow blocks, start on green again, so that he's gonna do all these things in parallel at the same time, and we're going to record a message. So go to the green blocks, to the microphone, press record, and say, it's spring and it's sunny and warm. Look at those flowers growing. And press the tick box, okay? Cool, when you recorded that, drag down that new microphone that appeared next to the start on green. And we're going to send a message to all the flowers to grow. So press the yellow blocks, drag down the message, the send message block, it's the one with the closed envelope, and we can leave it the same color, so it's orange, you see you could change the color, because the other message we have is on a different scene, so it doesn't send it back to the other scene. Everything that happens here is only for this scene. I hope that made some sense. We're going to go to the red blocks and drag down the one without arrows. So when this one starts, it says what it has, to, what you recorded, sends a message to the flowers to start growing, and ends that line of code. With that, we can go to our flowers. So go to the daffodils. So under the sun, press on the daffodils or whatever flower you guys chose. We're going to start on message. So go to yellow blocks, drag down the envelope, the open envelope, go to the purple blocks, drag down the grow block. So that's the, the one that has three people and the large person, okay? Drag that one down, go to the red block and then drag down the red block with the arrows. So this means when it receives the message, it will grow and then it will just keep growing. So the flowers will occupy almost all the screen, which is pretty cool. And it's what happens in spring. I mean, all the flowers and the trees and everything is growing. So instead of coding this three times for the flowers, what we're gonna do is just copy paste. So go here to the, where the objects are and put your finger in between the objects and, and the, the gray line and just scroll up so you see all the flowers. So the daffodils, in my case, the tulips and the daisy, but you should see the three flowers that you put. We're gonna select the daffodils, so make sure you can see the coding. And we're gonna put our finger here and drag it to the tulip, so the second flower, and then put our finger on the yellow block again and drag it to the daisy. So now if I check, I should have the same line of code on all flowers, okay? Cool, you guys were able to do that? If yes, we are done, we can now trial it. Let's go see it together. So press on winter, so press on the winter scene here on the top right, go to full screen, which is here in between the house and the, the lines, and now press that green flag. Ooh, it's winter and it's super cold. It's winter and it's super cold. To warm up the earth. So Can't wait for the sun time. to warm up the earth. Okay. There comes the sun. The sun is here and it's going to get warmer. Sun is here and it's going to get warmer. It's and spring. it transforms and to spring. Warm. Look at those flowers growing. Look at the flowers growing. And there they go. All the flowers are growing a lot. You can put as many flowers as you guys want. I mean, if you want to go back and, and add another five flowers, please feel free. Or butterflies flying or whatever. So I'll leave that to you guys. If you do do more, Please just send a message, go, because they don't allow comments on YouTube, go to Instagram, to the Coding Dad, link somewhere around here, and, and show me what you guys were up to. I'd love to see like shot, um, pictures of what you guys were able to do and leave any comments or feedback there as well. And I will see you guys next week. Bye everybody.